Hi, in this session I'll be covering an overview of compound interest. Now there is a claim that Albert Einstein had once said that compound interest was one of the most powerful forces in the universe. Although this is an unsubstantiated claim, it is however important to realize that compound interest is pretty amazing when you look at it throughout multiple time periods. So let's go into the calculation of how to do compound interest in Excel. Now, there's actually two ways I'm going to show here. One is just using the plain old formula for compound interest. Basically, that's the future value um, and present value and interest and the number of periods here. So to use this formula in our example, here we want to find out the future value of our present value. If we, let's say we put $1,000 uh, into some kind of investment vehicle, and then we're going to multiply that by the interest rate that we're going to get. So that's going to be 1 plus the interest rate. And let's say that we got 8%. Now, in today's economic environment, it'd probably be a little bit difficult to get 8%, but let's just use 8% in our example. We can change this later on, or you can change it for your own particular use. Um, so what we the, the other part of the formula is the exponential for part. Now, in our period, which we're, we're maybe making the assumption that uh, it's only going to compound for one year, but uh, I'll show some a later example of how we'll compound it for multiple years. But for our example, we're just going to use one for now. We'll just reference it back to this particular cell. And there we have it. In one year, we're going to get $1,080. Now, with the built-in function in Excel, it does it all for us using the FV function. So if we just type equal FV, we will get that function. Let's go into the function wizard to um, get that. Oops. FE, let's just search for that. Yeah, let's look for that F future value function. And basically what our what we want to do is now let me go ahead and increase the size here a little bit. What we want to do for the rate is select this cell, our interest rate cell. Now the uh, number of uh, periods is here payments. This is if we uh, have the opportunity to go ahead and make additional um, uh, payments or put additional money into our savings vehicle. Now we're not going to use this in our example so we can just leave it blank or or put a zero in there. Present value is going to be uh, cell B1 which is our present value here. So you notice that Excel in the in the wizard here function which it already calculated out for us and you see notice that it's a minus sign. So this is kind of making the assumption that we are um, taking money in and then it is um, it is taking money out. It, the, the output is uh, a negative result. Basically what we have to see from our perspective is we are giving the money. Money is going away from our pocket and we are giving it to the bank and so we want, we're going to get money back and we're going to get an increase and so once we put a negative sign in the uh, PV field here basically it negates that and we're going to get a uh, positive number. Uh, it's just kind of like for a visual, I guess in our example maybe it's just for a visual aspect but um, this is something just to keep in mind. Click OK. Oops. Let's delete that there. Now we click Enter and we'll get our value, same value that we had here. So how is the magic of compound uh, compound interest? Well let's say that we put this in for five years and we're gonna get 1,400, a little bit over uh, $1,400. Now let's say that we decide to put it in for 20 years and just kinda went to sleep and forgot about where this money was. And in 20 years we'll see that our money had grown for over four times so that is really the magic of compound interest. And you can play with this formula a little bit in your own specific situation and use Excel uh, for the, with this formula or even just use the built-in function to kind of figure out what the compound interest in your own particular situation is, whether it be for saving or investing. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.